Hi students, today's topic of discussion is layers of atmosphere. The atmosphere is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. These layers starting from the earth's surface are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. So let us start discussing these layers of atmosphere one by one. Troposphere. Troposphere is the lowest layer of our atmosphere. Troposphere extends up to a height of 13 kilometers above sea level. The Earth's surface gets heated due to the heat received from the sun, hence the air nearest the surface is the hottest. As you climb higher in the troposphere, air temperature gets colder. 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere is found in the troposphere. Therefore, all weather related phenomena such as formation of cloud, rain, fog, winds and storms take place in the troposphere. Aeroplanes fly in the higher part of troposphere. There the air density is very low. Therefore, arrangement has to be made to ensure that passengers get enough air for breathing. Regarding turbulence, Turbulence is generated as the wind blows over the earth's surface and by the thermals rising from the land as it get heated by the sun. Moving on to the next layer that is stratosphere. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere which extends up to a height of 50 kilometers above the ground. In the lower part of the stratosphere there is a layer of gas called ozone. Ultraviolet rays coming from the sun are harmful for living things. But the ozone layer absorbs them and protects the living world from these rays. Ozone molecules absorb high energy UV light from the sun and convert it into heat. As we go higher in the stratosphere, it becomes warmer. This trend of rising temperature with altitude means that air in the stratosphere lacks the turbulence. Commercial passenger jets fly in the lower stratosphere partly because this less turbulent layer provides a smoother ride. Mesosphere Above the stratosphere is the mesosphere which extends up to a height of 80 kilometers. Most meteors burn up in the mesosphere. As we go higher in the mesosphere, it becomes cooler. The coldest temperature in the Earth's atmosphere, about minus 90 degrees Celsius, are found near the top of the mesosphere. Moving on to the next layer, that is thermosphere. Above the mesosphere is thermosphere, located between 80 and 400 kilometers. As we go higher in the thermosphere, it becomes warmer. The temperature increase is caused by the absorption of energetic ultraviolet and X-ray radiation from the sun. The thermosphere is more like outer space than a part of the atmosphere. Many satellites actually orbit Earth within the thermosphere. Moving on to discuss ionosphere. Actually, ionosphere is not a distinct layer like others mentioned above. Instead, the ionosphere is a series of regions in parts of mesosphere and thermosphere where high energy radiation from the sun has knocked electrons loose from their parent atoms and molecules. The electrically charged atoms and molecules formed in this way are called ions, giving the ionosphere its name. So, as such, ionosphere is not a distinct layer. Okay, It is a series of regions in part of mesosphere and thermosphere. Moving on to the next layer that is exosphere. Although some experts consider the thermosphere to be the uppermost layer of the atmosphere, others consider the exosphere to be the actual final frontier of the Earth's gaseous envelope. The air in the exosphere is very, very, very thin, making this layer even more space-like than the thermosphere. 
So this was about the layers of atmosphere. Note that air density and air pressure varies with height. It is maximum at the sea level and decreases rapidly as we go up. So this was about atmosphere and its layers. Hope you liked the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.